How to fix sound not working on Asus monitor. And that's going to be a step-by-step -step guide. But first, before we actually going to start with anything, I want you to go ahead and check your cable connections. Okay. So this is the HDMI cable and this is the DisplayPort cable. This is what will usually be connected. Make sure it is tight. It's properly connected. Okay. Why well, I'm saying these ones is because these cables carry both a video and audio signals. Okay. Make sure it's properly connected. Then what you want to do guys is go ahead and right click on your speaker icon right here and open up your sound settings. So we're going to be doing basically which we're going to be setting the Asus monitor as our default audio device. So now here under output, you want to go ahead and select this you know, choose your Apple device. You want to go ahead and choose your monitor from this list, click it, and then set it as your default device. Okay. That's one way. And then what you can also do is you can go ahead and adjust the volume settings. So sometimes, you know, your volume might actually be turned on on the actual monitor. So this is what you do right here. So press the menu button on your Asus monitor. And this usually you'll find it at the back of the monitor. Open up the on-screen display settings, the OSD settings. And now you want to navigate to the audio right settings section. Okay. And what you want to do basically right here is make sure this is turned all the way up. Okay. Confirm that the built-in speakers are enabled if this is applicable. And then what you can also do is you can go ahead and try, you know, playing the audio from a different devices, different sources, for example, try playing it from YouTube, music apps, and you know, maybe it's one thing that might not be working, right? Connect to another device, for example, a gaming console, a laptop, see if the problem server persists. Is it your actually a problem of your monitor or maybe it's your other device you're using? What you can also do is you can update the audio driver. So right click on the start button and then go in and click on device manager. So we're going to be updating our audio drivers because if they're not updated, you could have some issues right here come and click on this arrow and then choose your monitor from here, your audio device, click on update driver. And then you want to click on search automatically for updated driver software. And then once it's done finding the driver software, you can go ahead and install any available drivers. And what you could also do guys is you could perform a monitor reset. So you want to access the OSD menu, right? Go here, click here at the bottom and then you find an option to reset to factory defaults to clear any software glitches. And what you can also do is right click on your, uh, you know, Windows start button and then click on settings. We can basically update our, you know, operating system to make sure there's no compatibility issues. Come and click on update and security. And then if there's any updates available here at the Windows update, go ahead and install the update. And once you're done with that, guys, that should usually fix the issue. So I hope this guide provided value to you. And if it did, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to find your solution. And I'll see you guys in the next one.